Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legends of Breath of the Wild. Last time we made it to this shrine behind the Spring of Courage, I believe. And now, this this shrine is going to be like a reward probably, I'm pretty sure. So let's just head in and get it done. Shay Katha's Blessing. Oh my goodness, I turned around somehow. The Thunder Spear, a magical spear that contains thunder from uh, Thundra Plateau in its tip. Attack when the blade gr glows with a golden light to unleash an electrical attack. My inventory's full. Oh no. I have a thunderstorm robe and also this boomerang and also this spear. Let me get rid of that spear. There we go. Gonna have to take a picture of this as well. Oh my goodness. Haven't seen one of these before. Let's take a picture of that. And let's keep going. And there we go. With that, there's only a few more shrines left to get in this region of over here, so. Now I think I know where the last two are. Oh wow, I actually do, okay. So, um, although I don't know if I'm going to do them before the end of the game, so I'm going to just leave that for now. Let's go back over to here where I left a marker. How is there rain in this cave? Hang on. Hang on, this is a cave. Why is there rain? Is it just coming through the cracks, I guess? Anyway, let's just go across here. If I can, fighting slightly against the current. But that's okay. Now I believe, over here, in the middle of this forest... Not bombers. Hang on, game. Gonna get some rupees from this bloopy. Just like that. And then I think over by where my marker is, is a Stalhinox. Or possibly just bones of one. Oh, actually, I know what, why, what it is. It is a Stalhinox. But they only attack during the day, I think. So, let's just throw that over there and blow this up. I could have done this ages ago if I knew that you know, there was no problem. Also, there's just a chest here, I guess. Anything good? Purple rupee, that's okay. For starters. Anything up here, though? Just a random thing, I guess. So maybe there isn't anything in here. Which would be surprising, because I thought there would be. At least, something. It does just seem very empty. There could be something underneath him, possibly. Once he wakes up. Doesn't appear to show that he's actually a thing. Oh, there's... Something over there. Oh, it's a chew. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this at, at the moment. I'm gonna have to actually just wait for him to... Get up. It's cool that you see this, though, and you can just walk over him. Now I'm going to zap you, get some yellow chew jelly. I, I don't know if there's anything over here then. Don't have to worry about that marker though. Since we know what's actually here. Oh my goodness. Um, Let's go ahead and probably start a fire. Seems like a good plan. Just need... Either some flint or some red choo choo jelly. Because when we hit that with anything, it's gonna explode. Oh my goodness, it's being blown away by the wind. Calm down, game.
There we go. Just set fire to everything and start an updraft from the grass. At this at this rate, I'm not going to have a chance to use my fire. Oh my goodness. Fire, go away. Okay. Let's rest until night. There we go. And now that it's night time, this Stalhinox should come alive. I think. If I'm wrong, then I'll, I'll, I'll actually be very surprised. Can I hit you, please? Thank you. Do I need to do something with it to get it to activate? I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Please? Oh, is that a thing over there? Oh, no, that's just a shrine. Glowing. Not a... Uh, not a bloopy. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Since it's not actually waking up. I would have thought it would. Maybe there's something you're actually supposed to do with it later on once you actually figure it out. But I guess not at the moment. Okay then, I'm just going to leave that since I don't actually know what to do with that then. Let's, um... Oh, where should I start from? Probably go over to this tower here, so the Hebra Tower. And I want to wait for the Dinral dragon. Oh, it's cold up here. I need to do something about that. Also, if I had to guess, I'm guessing that this thing isn't going to appear for a while. So I'm... Um, I might just cut ahead to it when it's actually near. Urbosa's fury is ready. Okay, so I'm actually at the Great uh, Tabantha Great Bridge, and it's heading my way. I was taking forever waiting over there. I also believe, according to a guide that I found, whether that's true or not, that if you start a campfire over here and then wait go to morning, which should be around 5-ish, then it will be, like, basically this far away. I'm just on its way. But anyway, let's go get one of its scales. You can also get its fangs and claws, which is I, did, I didn't really know about because I'm, you know, just not really aiming for that. But anyway, let's go ahead and try and get one of its scales. Good shot. Easy enough. It also shoots fire at us if we get too close to it. So we have to be careful about that. Now let's go get our reward. Also there's just stuff down in this ravine that we haven't, or canyon that we haven't actually had a look at. So anyway, let's grab that. Dinral's scale. This precious scale fell from the Red Spirit Dinral. In it, it em, emanates a great heat. You can use it in cooking, but just Eating it seems like a waste. Very similar to the previous one scale that we had last that uh, with the other dragon. But yeah, this canyon here is a good spot to get it apparently. So let me quickly have a look at this. Because I feel like this is important. It actually seems kind of well, red. It was red, everything was red. Let me climb up this pole quickly. But I think that climbing up this pole is not actually what this pole is here for. Hang on, let me quickly change into climbing gear. Hang on, where's... Okay, it's... That didn't make it any easier to select that. But alright. Two out of three levels of climbing. I don't think this is going to be a cork up here. Oh, there is. Okay, never mind. I'm just crazy. But I'll, my, my other thought was maybe... Golf, where you need to actually get a rock over here. So, maybe. 
Anyway, let's mark that off and figure out what else to do now that we have this scale. So, let's actually go over this way. Uh, I think I might actually even look at this here. So let's go from this shrine. Or maybe even the tower. No, this shrine. This, this shrine will work. And now to start walking to where we need to be. Um, I'm gonna set that as a marker like that so I can actually get to it easier. Although it shouldn't be that difficult. We also don't want to go exactly to that point. But we want to get somewhat close. Also, I could check the Great Fairy while I'm here to see if I can upgrade things. Since I have a few more materials than last time. Let's see, what can I upgrade? Um, a lot of things actually. Climbing gear is probably the most important. Oh my goodness, high tail lizards. Uh, I don't even think that upgrading the climbing gear is going to help that much, it's just going to increase the defense. Let's just do it anyway. Oh, it costs rush room. How much... How much rush room did I have before? What happened to my rush room? Did I use it? I don't know, let's just do, use it now. There we go. Uh, probably another important one is probably the soldier's armor and the snow quill armor. Hiding trousers, I can finally get that done since everything else is done. And with this, um... The champion's tunic, the shard of Far Farish's horn. We know how to get that now, but we haven't got that at the moment. I'll probably look at that in at some point. I don't know when. Now to see if I can get through these armor faster now. Already did that one. Well, those two ones are a little bit behind, but that's okay. Now, I think to upgrade those further, I need more Lionel Hinox guts and the Zalfos tails. The Zalfos tails is the main, more important thing of that. I didn't mean to quit out of that. I didn't mean to back out of that. I just, ah. Uh, come back. I need you. Increase my trousers, my snow quill trousers. Kiss my trousers, apparently. Or you're kissing your finger and then... Yeah. Oh my goodness, so many things to do. Rubber tights, that's probably good to do. For shock resistance, if I ever need that. It's not increasing the effects, it's just increasing the main defense, which is important. Okay. Um, did I not actually have enough stuff for the snow quilt? No, of course not, so I need warm Saflina. Of course, and I can't even do all of that. Oh my goodness, everything needs stuff. I can do this, and I'm going to need more sunshroom for the other two oh. items in the set, but at least I can increase the overall uh, defense for the set. So even if I don't use the whole thing, it's still increased a little bit. And that should be everything we can currently upgrade. Oh. 
Now, how are we doing for our sets now? How much? Oh my goodness, look at that. If I did my best armor, it's 42 defense. That is crazy. Anyway, let's go to where I was trying to go before I got distracted. If I can figure out where the path is. Oh, is that what I think it is over there? Please, 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 please. Nope, that's just Armoranth. That's okay. It's Armoranth, but it's definitely not... Uh, oh my goodness, enemies! Just, could you not be yourself for five minutes? Um, it's not hearty radish. Okay, so where we want to go is not quite in the middle of the spiral. It's, I believe, over this way. I don't think I'm supposed to be going along the side of this hill side. So let me get a little bit closer to this. And then right down here is some ruins. Oh my goodness, enemies. Every five seconds. Okay, some ruins. And, oh, don't fall that much. Oh my goodness, enemies. I'm just going to keep ignoring you. Um, but uh, over here somewhere should be an orb. Which is what we need for that spiral. Only a hero bearing this ancient orb shall be granted the right of trial on wrist uh, peninsula into the vortex. So, we need to walk with this orb around and around and around till we get to the center of this. Yep. There's also going to be stuff to pick up and there's going to be stuff shooting at me. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. That's definitely what it's going to be. At least we get to look around from here. I wonder if whenever Breath of the Wild 2 gets announced, if it's going to have... If it's going to be the same world, but it's going to be, like, bigger. Because you can see stuff in the distance on the edges of the world sometimes. And I wonder if it's just going to... They're going to be like, Okay, it's Breath of the Wild. It's the same world as Breath of the Wild. But you can zoom out more on the map, and in, and it just shows the towers, and there's just more world to explore. That would be crazy. Like a whole, like, sailing mechanic, like, bringing back, kind of as a reference to Wind Waker. Just all, all the things, maybe even, um, what the, what are they called? Ah, oh, I can't remember what they're called. The... Loft wings from Scarlet Sword to help you s s fly around. Also, there's there's Dinral again. I guess Dinral is probably already like starts like spawns from over here somewhere. If you can figure out where the dragons spawn in at a specific time, you can probably um do that. Get them like fairly quickly, and it's good for grinding. Ow! Also, I can see that over there, and I want to mark. That. Okay, orb, come over here. You can drop the orb in the water and push it, but it's not really the best strategy. Oh, good on you, horse. You made the right decision. Oh my goodness, this these enemies are angering me right now. I just want to ignore things and run with my orb to the end. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wonder if- oh, 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 oh. Usually a dragon spawns in like a water thing. And I wonder if it spawns- Oh, I don't know though. It could spawn in this lake. Which would mean you could wait at this lake, I guess. Or even at the tower. 
but I don't know where it starts from. It could actually start from up here in the volcano, or over here, or I just don't know. Anyway, for now, let's just keep walking. Also, just imagine, like, Spirit Tracks, like, reference as, like, a Breath of the Wild chic technology train. That would be cool. There's so many things that they could do. That ever just... They could do basically anything and it would just work really well. Basically anything. Not everything, but basically everything. Anything. Hopefully none of these are Koroks because I'm just gonna... Never know. Ow. Might be worth equipping better armor if they're gonna keep shooting at me like that. And I'm gonna eat something so I can recover my health a little bit. Even though I don't really need to encourage, uh, recover my health. I can also use this speed up stat. Did that actually work? I don't know if it did. Ow. Are those homing or something? Because I, they seem to just hit me wherever I'm about to be. Or not actually where I was. Which I guess is good game design because it means that I'm not going to just always miss like every archer er ever in this game. But still. Okay, they do just shoot where you're about to be. Which is still annoying. You just need to do a little loop. Ow. Ow! Oh my goodness. Also, there's a little shallow bit over here that we could use if we really needed to. Just right there. I don't know how shallow it is, but I'm gonna... Look, I'm gonna take it. If it can spare me for the next three seconds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. It does actually allow me to just walk across here and not do the final loop. There's also this, which is a Korok, I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness. After all these years. I finally made it. Let's just put that in there. There we go. Oh my goodness. Let's activate that and let's go get that Korok before I forget. Inevitably. Just do that. Oh, I think because I... Oh, I ate... I realized why the the, the running effect didn't work. Because I ate the, the, the cold resistance effect. Anyway, let's get this reward which is gonna just be... You know, that. Okay. Sitag Zumo's blessing. Giant ancient core, thank you. That's actually pretty good. Well, there we go, and now, let's head over to this stable. Let me see if I actually know what I'm trying to do. I think I know what I'm trying to do. Because the artist, Picanco? Yeah. Is here. Colorful leaves gently falling, a fort that fell to the great calamity. Unspeakable sorrows surrounded this la surrounds this landscape. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? 
I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check my album. I've got so many pictures of everywhere. Hmm, I know I've seen that spring and that goddess statue before. This should look familiar since we saw something like this recently. There was a place like this at the ruins in North Akala Valley, to the west of here. It's pretty much directly west of here. I'm certain you'll be able to find it without any trouble. Well, if you say so, let me get out uh, probably this fisherman's shield. And let's just um, hold that out and then jump and then do that and we're just going to slide down. Just slide down the hill. Pretty good. Got some horses here as well. Fisherman's shield is badly damaged. Oh look, a Lionel. Well no, Guardian. I don't know how I get that confused sometimes. Oh, there goes my fisherman's shield. That's not good. Um, I usually- I don't think I've ever had- ever dealt with these enemies properly, so... Oh, quick, equip, please. Yeah, I don't think I've actually like, dealt with these guardians around here before. I usually just go past them. Oh, it's raining. That's not good. Also, I feel like there's just going to be Koroks somewhere around here. Oh, they're right there. Is this where I need to be? Okay, let's go this way, I think. I'm probably going to come back here later when I have even better stuff so I can actually not worry too much about dying. But anyway, we don't even need to go through here. But if we do go through here, we will see this passageway and how you're supposed to probably get here. But this is the Spring of Power. Come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or well, so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them, the voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven deaf to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? <gasps> Poor Zelda. She's really had it rough. Just... Absolutely... So diff- so difficult. Just... I can't even express anything at the moment, anyway. This place should look especially familiar to you if you've seen... Yeah. Scarlet Sword stuff. Anyway. If we go to pray here... You have done well to find the spring. Off a Dinral scale, received uh, from the Red Spirit. 
to the spring of power. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. So once again, let's go to our scale collection, since we have two now, and let's offer Dinral's scale. Your path has shown itself, now go forth. The spring of power complete. Now let's go ahead and do the shrine. Which is just going to be a reward, so... Or not, it's a major test of strength. Also, how's the water not overflowing? Okay. I guess that center bit is slightly raised. Okay, there's no pillars here, but we have an alternative. We can create our own pillars using Crayonis, and hopefully this will work out well for us. Um, I'm gonna get a equip a shield just so I'm ready for that if I need to. I don't think I can do extra damage to enemies or I don't think fire does extra damage to enemies over time. That'd be cool. Now let's just see if I can trap you in here because that'd be interesting. No, no, no. No running away. No running. Okay. Break that. Put that there. Oh, don't exit the hole that I'm making for you. Yeah, let me push you back. Oh, that's too far, too far, too far, too far. I'm sorry, I'll try to get you back into your spot if I can. Let me just push you in there. And then... And then... Maybe... Ow. Don't break my blocks, you can break my blocks? Wow, that's so rude. Oh my goodness, there he goes! Oh my goodness! The acceleration. Hang on. Go, 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 go. Nope. Let me try blocking you over here, because this is going to be easier, probably. There we go. Now push you. And then... Ice. And now you're stuck here forever. Oh, there he goes! That's a lot of fun. Oh, he's back! That was a lot of rubber banding. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize rubber banding was going to come into play. Oh, there it goes again. This should- this is far more fun than it should be. Just sending them flying. Anyway, let's actually fight him now. Ow. If I can actually get some quick time dodges in, that'd be great, like that. Nice. Stop blocking. That's so rude. Oh, let's set up an ice block so you can break yourself on that. Oh, that didn't work. That's strange. That's usually worked. Ow, stop shooting me. I'm just trying to hurt you. Oh my goodness, really? Here, let me do that, and hopefully that's going to actually stop it this time. No, I thought you could stop them with that. That's strange. I should probably work a little bit harder to defeat them. Him, it, thing... If I can. Oh, my thing broke. Oh, that's not gonna work. Stop hitting it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this, this is just dodge then. Oh, and if it hits the wall, probably it takes damage. I should actually be wearing my armor, and not my stealth gear. I just realized that. I only take a few things of damage if I'm actually wearing armor. A few pieces of heart. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, we're gonna... S oh, he's doing different stuff. 
Okay, well, I can work with different stuff. I can work quite well with different stuff. This is working just fine. Just like that. <laughs> that seems a little bit cheap to just repeatedly shoot him with ice arrows. But I got so many ice arrows before. For some reason. Is this a different type of shield? Let me just make sure I've got pictures of the things because I don't check that enough, probably. Anyway, let's grab these ancient parts that have been frozen. And let's actually get out of here. I'm surprised that the ice block idea didn't work because I thought that was that would make sense. But it could just be because it's a stronger guardian. I don't know. I, don't know, I just don't know. Flame Spear, a magical spear forged in the magma of Death Mountain. Attack when the blade glows to expel powerful flames. Very cool. Let's take a picture of it. Oh, please. Is that gonna work? Keep a picture? Why are you not letting me... No, I don't like how you can't take a one picture for multiple items at the same time. Hang on. Perfect. Need to actually get it right. I think while we're here, though, I believe there is a Korok if I climb up the one bird in this in this this area. So let's do that, if I can. Okay, up we go, up we go. Where would it be if I was a Korok? Oh, right there, cool. Let's go ahead and grab that then. Yep, there we go. Very nice. Now, how are we doing? I think we should... Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things that we can look at. We could go get that shrine over there. We could also get the one that's up there. Oh my goodness, so many things to do. But I think I'm actually gonna finish up, finish up here for now, so... Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.